Silver Tempest is only the second set of the Sword and Shield era to come out with these six pack booster bundles. And today guys, we are busting into three of them, 18 packs total. We're gonna get some spicy pulls today. I can't wait, let's go. All right guys, so I'm pumped for today. We got three of these, 18 packs. Let's go ahead and just set two of these aside for right now. And uh, we'll go ahead and bust into one of these. So as I said in my intro there, this is only the second set uh, in the Sword and Shield era to come out with this six pack booster bundle. Um, fantastic, I really like them. They're great to open, right? So they only come with six packs inside, no extra frills at all, as you can see. Nothing else in that box, just our six packs here. So if you're into opening up Pokemon cards, these are a great product. They retail, I believe, for about uh, $24.99, but a lot of times you can find them online for $20 or less. Um, I know there's a couple places out there. Um, definitely check TCG Player uh, because uh, I know a lot of times on TCG Player you can find some really good deals on some stuff. So no card tricks today, guys. We got an Esper, Dratini, Chinchow, Meditite, Metagross uh, Reverse Rare, and a Cabalia non hollow for our first one. There's code for you. Um, so I've definitely had mixed reviews in these. Uh, the last set it came out with, uh, these booster bundles, these six pack booster bundles, was um, Lost Origin, just the last set that we had. And um, it was pretty 50-50 for me on these. Uh, I got some, you know, some decent hits. I can't say I pulled anything too crazy uh, out of these from Lost Origin. So I'm giving it another shot here. Hopefully we can pull something crazy today out of Silver Tempest. Got a Duosion Reverse and a Hisuian Braviary non-hollow. Not going to uh, not going to get spicy pulls, only pulling non-hollows here today. Hopefully we can get something else. Here's our next one. Um, all right, so got a little bit of a different setup. I know I constantly say that in my videos here, but I changed the lighting, so I'm hoping the lighting on my hand cam looks a little bit better. I'm still trying to figure out some, uh, some face cam lighting here that doesn't totally wash me out. We got a Vulpix Snow Runt. Fletchling, oh my gosh, these cards don't want to come out of my hand. Lantern and a Fio non hollow. We are striking out with this first booster bundle already. That's not a good sign, but it only takes one pack, you guys. Let's see if we can do it in this Reggie Drago pack here. How have your guys' Silver Tempest pulls been? I hope they've been good. I've been seeing a lot of people on like social medias and stuff pulling that Lugia V alternate art. Have you pulled that card yet? I definitely have not. Uh, my biggest chase card is the Hisuian, not the unknown V, but very nice. We finally got an unknown V uh, V card there. And um, my, uh, my chase of this set is my favorite Pokemon, the Hisuian Arcanine. Not that the Hisuian form is my favorite because it's definitely not. I like the OG form of Arcanine much, much better. Um, but uh, hey, you know, when Arcanine finally gets some love, uh, he becomes my chase. So the uh, full art Arcanine in this set is definitely my, my biggest chase card. And uh, Lugia definitely comes second. I can say that for sure. But uh, hey, I ain't gonna complain. If we get a nice Lugia pull here today, really any of the Lugia cards are great. I believe even just the Lugia V is still going for over $10. Very nice. We got a Passimian uh, Trainer Gallery. I don't think I have this Trainer Gallery yet, so it's pretty uh, pretty awesome pull. Let's see if we got something else. And a Crocodile Hollow. I always be pulling that Crocodile. He wants to show up in like every Silver Tempest opening I've done. We'll go ahead and put you down here, Crocodile. You are a hollow, you deserve some love, but Passimian, you get a sleeve if I can get it in here. All right, there we go. All right, last booster pack of our first uh, six pack booster bundle here. Not too, too bad right now. We got a V and we got a trainer gallery. Uh, let's see if we can get something out of this last pack. Got a Ralts, Fletchling, Dratini, Klink, a Miss Drevis reverse, and oh, just a Neuvern non hollow. So that first one, wasn't that great. We did get a couple hits though, and we got a hollow. Um, so I can't say that we didn't get nothing because we definitely did uh, with the unknown V. Would love the unknown V uh, full art. I did pull the unknown V full art from uh, Paradigm Trigger, the Japanese version, uh, at least half of um, Silver Tempest here. And it was an absolutely beautiful card in Japanese. So I would love to be able to pull it here uh, for you guys as well. I think I ended up actually giving away that unknown V, uh, the Japanese version, uh, in one of my lives. So guys, that looks nice. Let's go ahead and get into another pack here. 
See if we can get anything spicy out of our second uh, three-pack blister. Not three-pack blister. What am I talking about? Six-pack booster bundle. Got a Benary Jirowzy Spinarak. I always think that Spinarak is like the ditto one from... Awesome! We got the Rayquaza VMAX Trainer Gallery. Let's go! This card is awesome. This card is still going for like $35 or more. Last time I checked, it was actually $40. Um, so this is a banger. Uh, the best card in the Trainer Gallery I think you can pull as well. Let's see if it's a double. Nope, just a Miss Magus not hollow, but I will take that Rayquaza VMAX all day. And uh, this second booster bundle is already better than our first one was. Let's go ahead and get this Rayquaza sleeved up right away. Looking very nice. Check that out. Got uh, Zinnia there uh, with Rayquaza. Zinnia's back's kind of turned to us. Just makes it look extra cool there. Really nice bright colors as well. This card really pops. That is awesome. I'm super happy with that. Let's get into our next one here. See if we can uh, keep this momentum going with that um, Rayquaza VMAX there. That was awesome. All right, Elgium, Fungus, Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Halucha, Radiant Jirachi. Let's go. Awesome. Let's see if it's a double. And an unknown V Star double banger. Let's go. I am happy with that. Now we got the unknown V Star for our unknown V also. That was awesome. That was an awesome pack. Love that Radiant Jirachi as well. That artwork is just absolutely beautiful. Got to pull out two sleeves this time. And uh, doing decent on the hit rates as well. We got, uh, what, five hits already, and we're probably like seven, eight packs in, seven packs in, I think. So we're doing pretty decent. Um, the trainer gallery definitely helps, I got to say. These uh, sets that they put the trainer gallery in has made... Uh, Made it for much more enjoyable openings. Um, you know, even though if the cards aren't you know, worth a whole lot, it's you know, it's not always about that, right? Uh, opening up cards, sorry, bumping my mic, that was probably real loud. Um, you know, opening up the cards and, and having fun with it, that's the biggest thing. So uh, let's see what we get in this one. Emolga, Chimeco, and that trainer gallery definitely helps. Fletchling and a Keldeo non hollow. I think last time we got a Keldeo hollow might have been like Sword and Shield base set, all the way back in base set. Could be wrong on that. I know we've got, I know there was a Keldeo V, I think, in base set, or at least in, uh, I think it was base set. Correct me if I'm wrong, might have been Rebel Clash. But uh, Keldeo hasn't seen some love for quite a while. Let's see what we get in this one. I was saying this spin rack always reminds me of the Pokemon Go one, uh, right before we pulled that Rayquaza. All right, we got a Solosis, Zubat, Gardevoir Trainer Gallery. This has got to be the most beautiful trainer gallery here in this set. Let's see if it's a double. Oh. A Reuniculus, Re Reuniculus, Reuniculus? I think that's how you say it, Reuniculus. All right, and, and a Gardevoir. So we got another hollow mini double banger there. I'm happy with that. And uh, happy to get that Gardevoir as well. I think that's gonna be, you know, one that's, uh, you know, gonna end up on the, you know, more expensive side. Not to say that it's going to be expensive down the road, because I don't think these trainer galleries are gonna be super expensive down the road. But I think this one will be, you know, on top of the list when it comes to, you know, how expensive these trainer galleries come out to in the end. Gardevoir has always been, you know, a favorite uh, of the Pokemon community. And uh, I think that one will carry a little bit more value than, uh, you know, maybe our Pessimian here in the future. Uh, but let's get into it, guys. Let's keep getting some pulls. The second booster bundle was fire. Hopefully we can continue that momentum here. Got an Indeedee, Marini, Miss Drevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Quad Stone Reverse, and... And Incineroar sleeping on the job. Definitely very opposite of the momentum that we had going there uh, for this opening. We got one more pack. Sorry for bumping my mic. Just got things in completely different positions that I'm not completely normal uh, used to yet that aren't normal for me um, quite yet. Guys, I think we might have something. I could have just caught, you know, the edge of something that uh, isn't a card. But let's see. I think we got a peeker. Got a Fletchling, Chimeco, Phoebus, Fennekin, Sandy Gast, and... All right, got the Reggie Alecki V. This is turning out to be an actually very nice deck in the PTCGO, the Reggie Alecki deck. I think you can uh, combine it with a couple different Pokemon and get a couple different variations of the deck. Um, and they all do pretty well with that Reggie Alecki V Max in there. Like the Max Thunder and Lightning, I think, is the, uh, is the attack that it has. And uh, it does pretty well. So, unknown, sorry, I'm going to cover you up there. And guys, we are going to get into our very last booster bundle here, last six packs of the opening. I hope uh, that you've enjoyed this opening so far. If you have, definitely drop down, smash that like button, 
definitely helps us out here on Next Level TCG. Uh, we are looking to grow this channel as much as we possibly can, and you guys are a huge part of that growth. You know, simply just hitting that like button does amazing things for the channel, you guys. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys' support, each and every one of you hitting that, uh, that like button for us here, and uh, let's bust into these last six packs here and see if we can get that Hisui and Arcanine V full art. That would be awesome. That would totally make my day here. And I would be happy um, with that card, uh, you know, as, as the top uh, top card, the top pull that I want from this set. Swablu, Galele, and a Noivern non-hollow to start it off on this one. That's not how we want to start things off, especially when we started off with the Rayquaza VMAX on the last one. Hopefully we can get something else spicy. Uh, I would love to pull one of the V Trainer Galleries as well. I feel like I have such a hard time uh, pulling those V Trainer Gallery cards, but they're textured and they look absolutely amazing, like the Rayquaza. Uh, but just the Vs, I love the Vs because they're textured as well. Um, hopefully we can pull one of those. I, I have pulled the, what was it, the Corviknight uh, V, and uh, it just looks amazing. Mistrevious and I Milotic non hollow. Got a whale in there for you as well, Brad, if you're watching. Ooh, almost knocked over my stack of bulk over here. That would have just crashed into the screen here. That would have been embarrassing. All right, let's get into our next one, guys. We got four packs left here. We got four packs to do some damage. I feel a nice spicy pull coming out of here. Hopefully we can get something nice. Ooh, guys, I think I saw a peek or I saw something glimmer in there in the middle. We got an Indeedee. Let's see what it is. We got a Baltoy, Sunkern, Petlil, and... An unknown V. All right, we can just double up on the unknown Vs. I guess that's okay. I definitely, guys, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was a gold. I thought I saw that gold glimmer on the edge, but just uh, unknown kind of faking us out there. We'll tuck our two unknowns uh, in by each other there and get on with the next one. Reggie Lucky Pack here doesn't want me to grab it. Hopefully there's something good in here, you guys. I definitely was not hoping for another unknown V, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. Let's see if we can get something spicy out of this Swirlix Rotom. Dreepy. Vile, vile plume. My gosh. Volpix. I was looking right at the uh, the word Volpix there and said vile plume. Spinarak and an Amoongus non hollow. There's a coat. All right, guys. We got two packs left. Two packs left. Let me know in the comments below. Is the Hasuian V Arcanine in the Alolan Volpix pack? Or is it in this Reggie Drago pack that I'm going to open up right now? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. I appreciate you commenting down there as well. That's another thing that really, really helps out the growth of the channel. Is if you just leave a nice comment down there. Even if it's to say, hey, that's a nice opening or how you doing. It's a uh, it's a way to help us out, guys. Sandile. Mawile V, let's go. This is actually another one I had. I forgot I had this one. Uh, but I do have this. This is a double for me. This is what I'm talking about. It's got that texture on there. That just looks absolutely amazing. Let's see if it's a double hitter. And a Crobat, uh, almost said V, a Crobat Hollow mini double banger there. All right, let's get this in a sleeve, not the Hollow. The Mawile, Mawile deserves a sleeve. Man, this looks great with that texture. It just really looks awesome. Like I, man, I wish like all of our V cards had that texture on there because it just makes them look like so much better. Um, sorry, Jirachi, we're gonna double you up there. And guys, we are down to our last pack here today. I hope it's a good one. I'm putting all my good vibes into this one. I hope you are as well. Again, if you have not, drop down, hit that subscribe button for us, smash that like button on this video, and tap that notification bell as well so you can be notified of all of our next videos coming out. We do openings here on Tuesdays, but we also do Pokemon investment uh, investment videos as well. Investing is what I was trying to say uh, on Mondays and then frequently on Fridays as well. We have like another top five or top 10 list uh, done by Travis. So super exciting. We go live on the weekends as well. Got a Haunch Crow and oh, just a Delphox non hollow to end it off. That's all right, guys. We got a lot of very nice hits today. Got a few Vs. Uh, Rayquaza VMAX. This is definitely the big banger of the opening here. So we'll get a nice close look on him again. Very, very nice. Standing there with Zinnia. Definitely my favorite hit of the day today. But let me know, guys, out of all the hits that we got here, what was your favorite hit of the day? Do you like Unknown, Regieleki, the Radiant Jirachi, or are you with me on that Rayquaza VMAX?
Thank you guys so much for coming and checking out my opening here today. If you enjoyed it, I do openings here on Tuesdays on Next Level TCG. So hit those notification bells. If you're more into investment type videos, Travis does investment videos on Monday. So go check out that video from yesterday. He just did an awesome Espeon Top 500 Value Cards video. Absolutely phenomenal cards on that list that you should definitely pick up for your collection. But as always, guys, be kind, be yourself, and level up.